Whoa, holy flippity flip flop flap and smokes, everyone. What an absolutely wild day it was in the markets today. And I did try to warn you guys yesterday that I think it's going to be a very, very bad day for the markets. And that's just what we saw. But in today's video, we're going to go over specifically what happened with gold and silver today because something absolutely huge happened that I haven't seen happen in a long time for gold and silver. Gold has fallen around $100 an ounce off its recent highs, and silver has fallen just over $2 per ounce as well. So who's behind this crash? What caused it? And will it get worse, or could things get better? Is this a buying opportunity, or should we sell and run right now? Well, everyone, that's exactly what we're going to get into in today's video. So let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into it. So okay, like I was talking about, everyone, gold has fallen to $1,877 an ounce. We can see here it spiked to around uh, $1,970. And now we go down the chart here, we can see it has just fallen off a cliff when this one crucial bit of information came out today. As well, not only gold, silver. Silver spiked to around uh, $24.54. And we can see it's now crashed more than over $2 to $22.36 an ounce. Look at that, down over 5% today. So again, what caused this crash? And really what happened to gold and silver should have been what happened to the S&P 500, the Dow and the NASDAQ. But of course, what we saw when this crucial bit of information uh, came out, which I'll get into in a moment, uh, we saw the stock futures fall. They fell over 2%, but then of course the plunge protection team came in. And it just seems like no matter what happened, Happens, whether it's good news, bad news, people keep wanting to buy this dip in the stock market. Because we can see here for the S&P 500, it closed down around 1.04%, but the tech sector was hit much harder, the NASDAQ down 1.59%. But okay, what are you wanting to know? What is causing this crash in gold and silver right now? Well, what I covered in my last video earlier, it was the jobs report. The jobs report came in, there were 517,000 jobs added, uh, they say, in January. And the reason I think uh, so many jobs were added was not because a lot of people get into the jobs market, but because the cost of living is getting so high, inflation's getting so bad, we're, having, we're seeing people having to take on another part-time job to keep up the cost of living, or we have people that have to work two full-time jobs just to cover the basic essentials. Now, the reason why this was such a huge jobs report, because what the economists were expecting, they thought it was just going to be 187,000 jobs added versus what we got 517,000. Now, what this triggered is for the dollar to go on a huge rally. Now, we all know that the dollar going up is bad for assets, but more specifically, it's bad for commodities. So let's have a look what happened to the DXY, the dollar index. So look at this chart here, everyone. We can see after this report came out, the dollar absolutely spiked. It went from around 101.5 and it went on a huge rally and the DXY is now 103. Now, again, we should have seen these kind of declines in the stock market because what this means is the Federal Reserve has much more room uh, to lift interest rates now because the jobs market is still so tight. The Federal Reserve says they want to bring the labor market back in balance because there's 11 million job openings. So that's two job openings for every employee looking for work. So again, how this is worrying gold and silver investors is they're worried that the dollar is going to go higher. That is bad for commodities. As when interest rates go up and people can get you know a safe return or they say a safe return by maybe getting 5% interest if the Federal Reserve does lift interest rates to 5% by putting their money in a bank uh, or a term deposit getting 5% or they say risk-free investment. We all know your money is not saved in the banks or buying US treasuries. And if interest rates on the treasuries go up, again, all assets are in competition with each other. And when there's risk-free return or what investors think is risk-free return, that drops the price of riskier assets, even though gold is considered a safe haven asset. Based on traditional investment terms, treasuries are considered even safer. Also, another negative catalyst for gold and silver was a lot of people buy gold and silver as a risk against recession or the economy going bad. But what this jobs report tells us is that the economy is not as bad as we thought, or that's what the markets think, and they think the Federal Reserve is going to pull off their soft landing. But in this jobs report, we also got that wage inflation is still above trend. Average hourly earnings went up 4.4%. So that's showing inflation is still going to be sticky, and it's going to be very hard for inflation to drop all the way back down to 2%, with just having interest rates at 4.5%. So nobody is asking the question, what if the Federal Reserve has to go above 5% and what if they have to keep them there for a very long time? What that's going to cause is, yes, while the jobs market 
is good now. Again, this all has lag effects. I sound like a broken record, but people need to be reminded that all these effects, all the things that the Federal Reserve is doing, we're not going to feel it for 6 to 12 months, and that's what investors aren't prepared for. So whenever there's a sell-off, when the dollar rallies, gold and silver always gets hit harder. They sell off first, but when we do get some bad economic data, once the real official recession hits, because I think we're already in one in real terms, well, then people are going to rush back to gold and silver. Because we got some more economic data today that I thought was absolutely crazy. Look at this. So this is absolutely shocking everyone. Eurozone producer prices surged 24.6% annually in December. So that's right everyone. Eurozone producer prices are increasing at a staggering rate of 24.6%. This is absolutely alarming numbers, but when you factor in energy, it's even worse. Industrial producer prices in energy jumped 48.6% from a year earlier. So what this report is telling us, this risk of inflation going higher isn't over. And the central banker's job, unlike what the markets are thinking, is far from finished. So am I worried and what am I doing? Well, no, I'm not worried about gold and silver right now. I have a plan of just dollar cost averaging in. I don't throw my win at any price. So I have a plan. I'm sticking to it. Every single month, I just allocate a bit of my funds into gold and silver over the long term because I know one thing's really hit the fan. Once people realize all the risks, it may not happen. Maybe inflation will come down, but we all have a risk that inflation won't go down like what's happening in Europe. Well, then we're going to see gold and silver continue to surge. But everyone, what do you think about this? What do you think caused this crash today? Let me know down below. Now, for all my loyal viewers and subscribers still watching, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.